Hi, my name is Gregory, and today I would like to uh, present the case when I uh, did uh, implant on number 19, um, and I have a restore uh, implant number 19 uh, with the abutment and a crown. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, the patient came to me uh, with emergency on number 19, um, it was a uh, failed root canal, you can see on x-ray, and also uh, you can see that uh, the post would have been placed, but there is no root canal filling uh, done on number 19 at all in, in, in the root canal space. And also patient um, um, that had loose crown on number 20. So actually we can see on x-ray that uh, there is uh, possible like a vertical fracture uh, uh, bifurcation area and that those uh, probably mostly is, is hopeless. So I informed the patient about the possibility of the extraction and placing the implant or maybe um, a site preservation then delay three months and placing the implant in the future. So we've been trying to probably save, save it those um, uh, by maybe redoing the root canal um, but Again, so when you see the picture, when you see the x-ray on it, you will see that it's, uh, the, we couldn't save those, and it's probably, it's most likely hopeless, and there was a fracture in between, and we have to extract the tooth. So when we extract the tooth, we did a, a socket preservation technique, or we call a side preservation technique, when I use uh, cancellous uh, bone graft, uh, material by ACE uh, and the size is going to be um, 0.25 by 0.5 millimeter of cancellous bone. We <coughs> place the color tape on top of the uh, socket, uh, put the stitches and uh, wait uh, three months until the air is going to uh, integrate. And also that's another sign of uh, placing the implant to make sure the lamina, lamina door is uh, disappear uh, when the uh, bone is going to integrate. So on the next picture you can see how the side was healed and uh, we lost some of the weights of the uh, original um, um, bone and um, but we had enough weights uh, to place um, uh, 6.0 uh, by 11.5 um, uh, millimeter by MIS. So when I try to uh, place the implant I want to make sure so when I put a pilot pilot drill it's in and place my uh, initial um, and taking my initial x-ray I make sure it's uh, from the uh, restorative point it's, uh, how my implants gonna be placed and how my crown uh, will be designed so I design my crown it's a uh, look at, uh, at the final restoration and then I do start at osteotomy to place the implant so um, again the initial x-ray been taken and uh, uh, implant by MIS um, being placed. Again, it's, uh, I've been placing the healing cap. You can see a little bit um, um, like a V shape on each side of the implant. It's because um, uh, it's designed by platform switch, and I will put the um, surgical healing cap uh, to place at the time of the appointment. So we did uh, two stage surgery at the same time, and we. Oh, Put the stitches on the patient. Patient came back to me next week. You can see I have the, uh, the tissue healed, and then it's gonna, patient came back to me in three months after um, for the final restoration. So, but again, you see the tissue healed properly, uh, nice. There's no infection. We uh, open up. Um, the healing cap, remove the healing cap, uh, we can see that says the soft tissue around the heal nicely and we uh, scan the tissue that way that's on, when the patient is in my chair. Again, there's no anesthesia involved, um, there's no extra time, uh, 30 minutes are putting very easy, uh, scan um, the, the implant site. Again, it's uh, I've been using MIS implant, but because um, there is no um, in in lab software that uh, by CERC, um the implant design for for the MIS, I've been using Zimmer because it's almost the same um, as a design. It's in I've been using part from Zimmer uh, to uh, to restore MIS implants. So you can see uh, I put the tie base um, on 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 the implant. And um, I take uh, take an X-ray to make sure to verify the position of my tie base. 
you can see again it's a platform switch and type a sits perfectly nice and i can see it's right in the middle and I make sure it's uh, when i restore my tools uh, restore the implant it's going to look nice we place um, scan body uh, on top of it and you can see it's uh, by placing the right um, anatomical healing cap it will give me a view that's uh, what my um, scan body will lucky it's so make sure it's all the way down and you can see the outline of my implant so so let's start designing uh, crown um, number 18 uh, with the implant um, abutment and uh, before we designate the crown we have to choose from uh, single restoration we have to choose the crown budget their individual uh, multi-layer and then click on tools number 19 so you can see it's uh, here it's, if you choose it right you will see two restoration one is going to be abutment and another one is going to be a crown so also um, we're going to design a crown and then we're going to split that's why we choose a multi-layer so if we edit restoration here we have to choose what the uh, implant type we're going to use and this type we're going to use uh, 4.5 by zimmer even if i place um, a 6.0 but because of the platform switch uh, I'm going to use 4.5 uh, to make sure that I have a nice emergency profile and fit uh, the restoration uh, to the implant side. I also have um, two structures I'm going to mill, okay, and you can see that uh, we are going to use a veneer, it means so the, the top portion on, goes on top of the uh, abutment. It means that you have to choose what the material is going to be made of, and this type uh, we uh, choose um, uh, Emacs. MX crown. So on uh, the framework, we only have one choice: is uh, zirconium by uh, Cirona. So we click OK and we exit. And again, it's, um, we designate a crown to make sure again you have two restoration at the bottom before you proceed. So when we go to scan mode and it already been scanning the uh, scan the material uh, the patient and uh, I'm, I'm using right my, my desktop computer so what I usually usually do is uh, I'm taking impression with my tape base uh, in, in, uh, on top of the implant uh, pour the model and then I make a soft tissue model and then I scan so in this case what I did uh, I brought the patient for uh, 30 minutes and uh, I unscrewed the healing abutment and I try to um, scan um, patient with a tie base so you can see at the bottom right here it's a, so how many pictures have been taken like to develop this model so then we scan the upper jaw while the patient's in a chair again uh, she doesn't need uh, any uh, anesthesia uh, any cells it's very easy and then uh, I've been taking buckle bite and then we need the gingival mask so in digital mask, I, I remove the tie base uh, with a scanner, and I uh, scan the soft tissue outline with the has uh, I have with the implant. And I also pay attention it's um, what the position of my implant um, on according to the tissue and according to the jaw. So make sure it's uh, for example when I design my uh, abutment, if it's I see it's not um, uh, 90 degrees to the soft tissue, I make sure it's uh, my implant. Uh, here it's, uh, it's a little bit rotated to, towards the buckle so that's my uh, going to be reference point and also you can see the tissue outline around uh, the implant is a little bit rough so I, I usually do that uh, when I edit the model I smooth the inner portion of the gum so my proposal will be much nicer at this point I also to make sure it's uh, how where the, my gum is going to be Okay, and especially when I'm doing like anterior abutments, uh, with the, how much of the pressure I have to place on my um, on my tissue, what the design would be. So again, it's a, during the surgery when I'm placing my healing abutment, uh, healing caps, uh, I design them that way. So when I, the patient come back for final restoration, I 
I can use the soft tissue which can be remodeled around the healing cap so to produce me a nice abutment. So when we're done with all these uh, four catalogs you can see here, it's a lower jaw, upper jaw and buckle and gingival mask. So we'll proceed with the next step. You will see in the different videos on seridatus.com that uh, uh, when we don't have to use a gingival mask, uh, in those cases when the um, implant base is a little bit higher than the soft tissue, then uh, you don't use a gingival mask. So we'll proceed with the model. And um, again, we design this crown. And you can see uh, I have my uh, implant right in the model. And also, let's say if we want to see the gingival mask, okay, we can see that uh, how the restoration relates to the gum. And you can see also that um, my um, split line is below the gum level. And on my parameters, I place my gingival uh, margin uh, on my crown 0.5 millimeter below the gingiva. So again, it will depend uh, how, how much pressure you would like to probably to put on, on, a, on, a, on the gum. And also, where would you like to have your margins done? So if we proceed. Uh, make it the gum a little bit translucent. You can see again with the outline of the gum and then my split line. You can choose when you're going to split the case. You can modify the margin or you can do it later on when you're going to uh, split a uh, crown and abutment together. So on the design case, again, we already split so we split the restoration and you can see here that's uh, my fi final proposal my abutment and uh, uh, in the crown so in this case you can play uh, with your abutment you can by changing um, again it's a, the, the size uh, horizontally and also um, uh, occlusally, that's uh, what the, you want to put uh, your abutment is. So, so let's go over the design uh, of the abutment. And let me show you so what can be done so far. At the bottom of the screen, you probably see that uh, which um, the type of the restoration you're going to uh, you're going to use. Okay, so I designated the abutment. So wherever I'm going to do, it, it's going to affect only the abutment. So the right click. And you will have a scale tool, and if you click on a scale tool, you will see uh, different types of red, radial and occlusal. So if uh, you're using the occlusal, if you want to see that uh, your abutment is a little bit too high, and your restoration is a little bit uh, low in thickness, you can choose as a whole, and then you can modify the restoration by putting it up and down. Okay, you also can choose the margins on the restoration also. You see I can place up and down compare <coughs> to my gum line. I can undo this case and uh, and to restore to original uh, position of my abutment. Also with the ra radial uh, scale again we can do as the whole and um, You can see that uh, I can choose a mode midi distally. Again, when I satisfy with the uh, proposal, okay, I want to make sure it's. Um, I'm going to try to put a gingival mask big back again to see whether my margins are according to um, to the gum. Okay, and when I satisfy the position of my um, marginal position, I can go ahead and proceed with the mill. Okay, so when I'm done with the mill, so you can see the position um, of the screw, uh, the screw, and also uh, the position of the screw. So I'll make sure that uh, my screw is not right on the on the margin 
um, where it's going to affect the setting of the crown and also um, uh, what you see this probe uh, you know the size is going to be of course bigger because zirconia and the, at that stage is going to be very soft you know to make sure it's, it was uh, it will stay it will mill um, I will think I'm going to show you it's at the, uh, the final uh, picture uh, when we mill uh, uh, zirconia abutment and also that uh, some people uh, complain that when they mill they don't see uh, the crown to mill again if you go back again here and click on the crown you will see the crown again position here you can see it's a little bit uh, minimal thickness is showing up you can work with that also minimal thickness and then you can mill um, uh, the crown so button is milled and um, you can see that it's uh, from the occlusal view uh, zirconia abutment and uh, now you can see from a uh, uh, proximal view and this is the crown being milled again it's uh, the beauty of uh, having in-lab software and um, two mill units you can mill um, both uh, restoration at the same time and uh, while um, you see other patients you can uh, center uh, zirconia if you can, it's if you have um, zirconia open in your office, it's like uh, what I have in my office, or you can send to Infidel, um, uh, and uh, you can see on the pictures how the crown and the zirconia abutment fits perfectly, and um, uh, that's how the result. You can do this case within a day if you have everything in your office. You can see that uh, how the restoration fits according to the tooth structure. There is no pressure. Everything looks nice. Uh, 0.5 millimeter below the gum level. Uh, nice uh, occlusal clearance between um, upper and lower arch and then um, we cemented the crown with the premier implant cement you can see the little residue of the cement but it, you see how the tissue healed perfectly uh, patient satisfied, I satisfied with the result and uh, that's what you can do in your office thank you very much